there is mates, also a second year students in two years this in high school. But the dance would know what the part I'll be taking and in high school during her. But she went up there, she just didn't want to like to come back, but they go back to the dormitories. What am I saying? Why not use the director? But due to the increase in fall prices, the use of the director has become inconvenient. However, my team and I have brought about a solution, an effective power bar system using solar traffic technology. This will enable my police and I to study when there's a power outage. It also reduce the cost as compared to buying fuel and paying for the electricity. This is how we have the classroom when there's a power outage. My colleague Jerry will tell us how this solution Thank you. Now with our efficient power backup system, we're going to be using four main components. First, we have the solar panel, our 12 volt battery, our solar charge controller, and then our inverter in the modified UPS. Now, our project is working in three main sections. First, we have the solar tracking technology, our battery charging technology, and then our power usage. Now, let me tell you how our solar tracking technology actually works. First, we use two several motors attached to the solar panel. Now, with the help of our Arduino board and our TC, we can position this panel towards the direction of the sun at any point in time. Now, this is our prototype. We are modifying this into a bigger version with two high torque motors and then with a bigger solar panel, as you can see. Now you know how the solar tracking technology works. Let's move on to our battery charging technology. Now, our battery is connected to the solar panel once again, which is connected to our solar charge controller, as you can see, to charge our 12 volts battery. Now, this is our main mode of charging the battery. But in situations like cloudy weather or rainy days, we can charge our 12 volt battery by using the electricity with the help of our modified UPS. Now you know how our battery is being charged. Now let's move on to uh, our power usage. Now for us to be able to power up our classroom, we should be able to con convert our 12 volt DC into between 220 to 240 volt AC. Let me give you a short demo about that work. So first I put uh, the UPS on first. Go for the B. But in the future, we plan on powering up an entire block. Thank you. And together, we are Team KUSC.